Well, hello there, Minecrafters. Thanks for coming by. We're continuing on with our developer's commentary of Diversity, part two of the Adventure Branch. Hope you've enjoyed part one. Uh, just the video is a bit too long, so I wanted to split it up. And also, I want to give you a spoiler alert. So definitely don't watch if you plan on playing the Adventure Branch and you, um, and you haven't uh, played it yet. But uh, without further ado, let's continue. Uh, here we've got our comparator. It splits off like the monument into our little uh, dispenser here that I talked about earlier about uh, in one of the puzzle branches. It spits off into the lava to get rid of an item that you put there. And we have all the zombie heads here to line up and open up the chest. Or actually, in this case, trick you <laughs> if you pick the wrong one. Hit one more redstone signal and uh, send a bunch of commands that give you nausea and hit you and send you off, teleport you into the jail cell. Uh, that's that there, but up here is all the text wording, and you can see we've got all this set up. If I just, uh, if we just load this up here. Uh, so this is all saying yellow text, and the reason I picked yellow is because, uh, the flag on top, I believe, is yellow of the king's lair, and the way I do that is I just, um, it, E is yellow, so we've got that paragraph E. I think it's, I don't know what it's called. I think it's paragraph command. Huh. Uh, sorry. Uh, and when I actually built this map, you in 1.5, uh, I started it in 1.6, I think I, 1.6.2, I completed it. And 1.5, you in multiplayer, you could only have a certain amount of words in a text line, so I had to make a whole bunch so it wouldn't cut off text. Uh, but anyway, if you wanted to go, so let me show you here. Doing text here, uh, this is going to be a little confusing, but it's basically yellow up to here, and then I add a three, which is the cyan, and then, because uh, all the zombies are wearing cyan uh, blocks, I guess, uniforms, and then the L starts bold, which is evil, and then resets it over here, and then starts yellow again, because when you reset it, it takes everything off and makes it white again. Hopefully that makes sense. I'll go back up and quickly show you, but you can see here all of the, let's see, press this and you're starting this command you can see all these delays go through and then when hopefully gives you enough time to read it and then it pops through here um, it is a lot of text but it's adventure that's you know that's what happens so you can see it hits all these command blocks these buttons up here were just for me testing so that is how the uh, that is how the talking works it's identical to the um, the zombie section how do I get out of here how did I get out of here? Um, I think... Uh, he, no. I didn't even lost my own map. Uh, well, whatever. <laughs> I'll just break up to the top. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I lost where I was. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's how that works. If I was to do that and say hi, uh, and then do an MBT edit. Actually, we'll put two words in there. Say hi there. Um, I'm going to see hi there. Uh, we'll do, uh, we'll do an L. So I'm going to bold it. Then I'm going to reset it. And then I'm going to, we'll just pick a random six, I guess. And then you'll see R. So now when we do a button on it, boom. Okay. High is in bold white and there is in orange. That's how that works. So all, so you can use it in your map if you want. Uh, but let's continue on with our adventure. So that king is is giving us uh, a command saying, you can have the or the holy wall of orangeosity if you go and kill the zombie and bring him back his head and put it in my chest. So, yeah, that's our goal. And then he said, well, you can find some, uh, some swords around here somewhere. So let's go take a look around here somewhere and see if we find anybody. Uh, once again, I said this is the Minecraft. The Minecraft. Yeah, there's Paul, Paul Soares Jr., who um, I think he's actually joined Minecraft. Minecraft after I stopped watching Minecraft. Uh, I have nothing to say. Er, oh, I guess I just did. <laughs> and Michael, who's not very well known, but he is on the Minecraft. I know just how to push the king's buttons. Ah, <laughs> push, get it? Push button. That's the joke. Okay. 
Uh, sadly, Zisto, who is one of my favorite Minecrackers, head don't come out properly. It is Zisto's head. And the joke is, so I says, you want this or, or you want this or. Or, or, or. Okay, it's the words or, or, or. Ha, ha, ha. This guy, again, who is he? No, that's Paul. Well, who the devil is this guy? I thought this was Paul. <laughs> Who's this guy? Oh, that's Shri. Okay, that's Shri. I'm getting my dudes mixed up. Uh, like I said, I didn't really know everybody, but Shri's like a really young guy from India, I think, who plays on Minecraft. One of the older ones, but he doesn't really do a lot of videos. We have some of the stuff that sort of like the guys who collected for the king. And then we have this guy over here who I don't really remember. Kurt Mac. Okay, and obviously because he doesn't have his glasses. That's why he doesn't... See, they don't come with the glasses. He says, okay, King's instructed me to offer you these weapons. Bunch of weapons. Every LP I've seen. Only one pair of pants. Hmm. It's not like you need them. And some food just to kind of set you up. It's mostly saying, like, they have food because they are have their own world. Uh, anyway, so let's go up to the top. And that's... Basically, the whole Minecraft. Uh, some of you are saying, where's Doc M? He's in the prison. We'll show you him later. Uh, anyway, we'll go up here, and these are guys who are, I kind of know a little bit better. Like, they're kind of my friends. Uh, we have VII, who did... I first met him because he played an LP on Complex. Nothing but blue skies for miles. It's a, it's a common phrase. Literally. Yeah, nothing but blue skies for miles. VII. Um, here we have Honest Stuffs, who I'm very sad that he's not doing Minecraft anymore. It's a lost interest. I put him in the map just so he would go, It's me! But he hasn't played Minecraft. Why do we archers have to wear magenta uniforms? Oh, I miss you, buddy. Okay, Snow Snowshoe, who uh, is actually my featured LP on Complex. A little late. I really liked his LP. He's a very uh, cool guy. Always oh, being looked for zombies. Um, and he actually every he every video he's monetized, he get, donates the money to charity if he makes any. So, what are you playing? And your glasses are coming through. This is our Smilik. <laughs> Uh, he always changes his skin, so everyone who's played a map gets a different head by him. Should have been a gardener is a joke uh, from <laughs> an LP he did where he he's known for breaking every single thing he can to finish a map. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a funny thing, but kind of annoying. And uh, we made a joke about him being a gardener in a couple of uh, games we've played, but Arsmelik, probably my... I'd say probably my closest friend on Minecraft, him and Jesper. Um, really nice guy and uh, kind of one of the reasons why more people have seen my videos. Uh, anyway, Felonius, who <laughs> basically like tore my map, my complex map apart. And apparently he hates Minecraft again too. So the legend is true. Felonius the wizard... A Swedish guy, nice guy, but he hated complex. He absolutely like just hated it, like beyond. Uh, it was just funny because he's kind of in the group of uh, friends, I would say. Loki Darkfire, who actually added him, I think after beta testing, um, and I told him not to beta test because I wanted him to play it and see himself. If I set my eyes on just one zombie, I swear, one of my uh, YouTube viewers and really cool guy and uh, he's got like really crazy hair in his video i don't know if that's a picture of him but it's like really spiky uh vashti what's the numbers vashti something ts240 did a did an lp on complex and i thought it was really fun really funny played a bit of diversity i don't know if he's actually going to finish it i can't see gosh why am i so short he got a real kick out of that uh, so people have played my map complex. I wanted to put them in the map just as a thank you uh, for playing and also people who are my friends. This is, I think, Lady of Light who used to comment on my videos and I don't know where she's been. Hello, friend. Have you come to join the garden? Oh, I found bows. Yes, I have bows that are useless in this map, but that's because it's a comedy map. 
here we have my I miss you buddy one of my very good friends who apparently no longer plays Minecraft because he's very busy with university now from the UK Thalazar changed his skin day after day I don't move stand watch I'm awesome yeah, well, if he really was awesome, he'd be facing the other way. That's the joke, because he's standing watch, but he's not even looking at the zombies. This is KB Coolify, the guy who got me to sign up for Twitter. Uh, he doesn't call himself that. Uh, Kyle, I think his name is CoolGuy077. Put him in the map um, to, to say thank you. Thank you for uh, being my, my YouTuber uh, buddy. And uh, appreciate all your comments and everything. You're a really cool guy. So that is the entire castle of everybody except in the dungeon, I think. Hopefully I got everybody, and if I didn't, I'm so sorry. Uh, if I, I'll, I'll, say, I'll tell you what. If I missed you in the castle, if I miss you in this video and your head's in here, I will do an entire, <laughs> entire YouTube video with just your head, and we'll do something fun. So we're on this adventure uh, to get the head of the zombie... Of the zombie, uh, zombie lord, because he's evil. And I need a sword because we gotta go take his head. And the cool thing is, you can actually destroy a head in adventure mode. So we are in adventure mode, but we can actually take a head off with our fist if we want. Uh, let's continue on here and look at some more heads. We have. I went over these guys, right? They made mysterious minds. I think I did. The Main Mysterious Minds, a very underappreciated map, my opinion. Uh, here we have some of the bigger Minecraft map makers. So I think this is Disco. I think it's Disco. Um, yeah, Disco, who has made... He's one of the guys who, like... Yeah, he's very, very talented. He's probably... I would say he's the most talented out of all these guys. Like, I, I think he's more talented than Seth Blink. Um, and... Uh, but he makes a map and gets a billion downloads. Like, it doesn't really matter what... Like, he could make a map where... There, you win. <laughs> That's your... Oh, you gotta place two of them. You win, and he would get a billion downloads. But um, he is really remarkable. Like, amazing. This, like, just go check out his video on the boss battle stuff he's made. It's it's phenomenal. And he's also made this really popular... I don't know why... Texture pack <laughs> called... Uh, um, OCD. People love it, and it's it's very, very simple. There's just no way around the Drowned Lake of Sorrows. There's no way. You can't do it. CFG, who um, I have nothing but respect for, again, hasn't got a lot of notice, but the guy's made one of the uh, most popular maps of all time, or one of the most noticed maps of all time, Gloria, which is in the... Um, which is in the top 10 PC gamers Minecraft maps of all time. I still have yet to play it, man. Uh, this leg is treacherous. No one could survive that. And uh, has made monstrosity. I'm not sure what else. Oh, uh, Luigi's Mansion. There's some maps. These guys are kind of the big ones. This is who I was trying to remember. Oh, why am I forgetting? Vex! Oh my gosh! Vex. And it's he play, He makes... A style of map that I'm not really into. I don't play uh, go fight a billion mobs, but he makes a super hostile hostile series, which is like like probably the most popular map series. I think a high pixel. I like these guys are kind of the the biggest map makers. I think, um, and uh, yeah, made Her Herobrine's mansion. Not sure what else high pixels made, but super like. A, like a literally what's the word massive huge impossibly popular maps beware the lake of so drowned sorrows many ha have tried to cross none have survived there are all the dead ones he's drowning uh it's a huge lake you can't cross it's impossible there's no way how are you gonna get around it uh let's just quickly go over here we have i has cupcake cup quick kept quick I has, I has, Cupquake, which uh, is like one of the most popular female uh, Minecrafters. I don't even know if she even plays Minecraft anymore. She's really a really nice person. Like, I she had this thing where she'd do like Gamer of the Week. Somebody, um, somebody told me about it. 
she really reaches out to her audience. I think uh, that's really, really cool. You always got time for a little gardening, right? <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was funny. They're doing gardening. Uh, here we have the man, uh, one of the most popular YouTube Minecrafters of all. Uh, one of the ones who, in my opinion, is popular for good reason because he actually makes things that are remarkable. Although I don't, not really into a lot of his stuff, uh, but I have used a lot of MC, MC Edit filters. And that is um, Joe Bexy. <laughs> no, it's Seth Bling, but Joe Bexy was my beta tester for Complex, and he has the same skin, so uh, it's both of them. Seth Bling, yes, and this guy here, I uh, can't believe I can't remember who this is. Bigger, oh, yeah, made the dropper map, hugely popular, kind of invented a genre, my opinion. It's bigger, made, so like like I'm saying, these are map makers. The whole is either friends or map makers, a few really popular ones. Uh, but a shout out to them, the um, the Lake of Drowned Sorrows. You'll never get by it. Impossible. Impossible. Okay, so here we're going to head over here. Um, now we, that was one, that was the first clearly labeled trial that the king warned us about. Now we have another one. Beware the dark forest of blackened skies. Plenty have entered. None have returned. If no one survived, how did these signs get here? Yeah, it's a good point, because, <laughs> really, how would the signs get here if no one survived? They wouldn't know that no one returned. I barely made it through the lake. Lost my limbs, though. That is Ant Venom, who, Ant Venom is a really cool guy, like, immensely popular. But the only reason I know him, like, not know him, uh, the reason I watch him is for his snapshot um, features. Like, he talks about the new snapshots. I think he does a really great job on that. Other than that, I don't watch any of his videos, but he's like really, 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 he's got like me, he's got over a million subs. I don't know how many he is now. Cool guy, young guy. Uh, so basically this little trick here, there's the dark forest of blackened skies. Didn't really have the same effect when it was raining. Uh, turns the sky black with the sky biome, guys. Remember the sky biome from Trivia? It is not the end, it is the sky biome. And from my texture pack reviews or demos or resource pack demos, you know that's what happens when you look at the sky biome sky. Okay. Uh, what on earth is going on? It's not loading. <laughs> I don't know. So basically there's nothing in this forest. I just want to have a joke forest that was really easy to get through, but is the evil dark forest of blackened skies. And I'm going to tell you guys a secret right now that no one knows about, no one that I've seen knows about, um, and it's over in here. And I'm not going to go in there, but there is something in there. So enjoy. Uh, I think it's pretty funny. And it involves somebody who is immensely, immensely popular. Sky. Anyway, um, uh, now let's go. Final, um, uh, clearly labeled obstacle. It is the rickety bridge of terror. Few have stepped on. They suffered Horrible fates. Rickety bridge. And there's a big canyon there. And dead Minecrafters who couldn't make it because this zombie here is saying, you're lucky I'm over here and you're over there. He's talking to this guy here. Who's this? I'm the sign maker. Now you know who did them. I don't... I don't remember who that guy is. Hmm. Anyway, uh... Whatever. Doesn't matter. I think that's some some no-name guy. So anyway, now we're uh, over with the zombies, and uh, <laughs> I wanted to make it a choice map. You have to figure out who um, who you have to pick here. We got uh, we used to be just like them. They're all zombies. They're wearing this is actually cyan stained clay. I had wool to begin with, but I want to take the wool out of the map because and there we go. We have a purple. Um, I don't know. They're wearing the cyan. That's right. Um, what do you want? Go away! They're all kind of unfriendly to kind of lead you into thinking, no, they're bad, they're evil. Where's that one guy? Let's go around and fly. There's this one guy over here who, uh, <laughs> just, for me, this was funny. Really? You came all the way to read my sign. <laughs> you came all the way to read my sign! Okay, um, so anyway, um, exact replica of that, except I made it with kind of evil blocks, so we have torches 
not like not really torches, but like evil torches, fire and other instead of the glowstone lamps. Back away! You're not wanted here. It's a wool that caused all this. Back off! This terrible curse. We don't trust you. So you've come to kill our lord over my dead body. And of course we have another chest. If you put the wrong item in, uh, like anything else, seriously, you're giving me that crap. I want the king's head. Zombie says basically, wait, don't kill me. Uh, wait, bring me his head and I'll bring you to the wall because I have it. And I kind of tried to write it so that you didn't know who to pick. Hopefully that uh, went over well. This guy says back away from my carrots. Yep. Okay. Let's keep going around and checking out these, checking out these guys here. There is no dungeon in this one. Uh, this guy says our comrades keep dropping these things. No idea why. Potatoes. Zombies drop potatoes. I thought it was funny. Uh, so the zombie lord, because he's not the king, because he's the lord and that's the king. I had to separate them that way. Uh, he is saying. Basically, the king lied to you. Don't believe him. Let's see, where's that other guy? This one I thought was pretty funny. I had fun making it. Um, what? I had an early, early growth spurt, okay? He's <laughs> two blocks high. Hilarious! Okay, and of course we have two guys over here. He says, move along. Some days I just feel like my flesh is rotting away. Kind of make a joke that he is a zombie. These guys over here say, uh, we're not really zombies. We only look this way. Yeah, it was easier to make the map this way than put real zombies in. Just put their heads so they could talk to you. I'm lazy. Uh, and this guy says, my cousin likes gold swords, but he fights like a pig. That is a joke saying a zombie pigman. Get it? Ha! 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 Okay. Apparently not funny. I thought it was funny. <laughs> Uh, okay, up here we got a couple more guys who say, Stand tall, men! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yeah, sure. Joke. Haha, <laughs> funny. This guy says, um, Pretty small backyard for such a big house. Used to actually say, uh, There used to be a, a, a daylight clock down there to always make a day and weather clear. And he said, uh, Something like, I wonder what that daylight sensor's for. I don't remember. Uh, once we take the holy wool, to, okay, that's leading you to believe that the wool is useless. These guys are, jump! No, you jump! No, you jump! No, you jump! No, you jump! Okay, and then, uh, we got a couple guys up here that say, uh, we really should have something in the chest. That's just because I didn't <laughs> fill it with anything. Oh, I'm too lazy. And then the last guy up here says, um, it's beautiful, isn't it? I don't know. I thought that was funny because he's a zombie and he's saying it's beautiful. It's gorgeous.